Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into this new visual note-taking app called uh, Constella and one of the reasons for me diving into this application is because their marketing seems to have been working. Either it is their marketing or it is the fact that people love this application so much it is yet to be determined. Uh, but they have been in my uh, comment sections, especially on my Medium articles. There has been a couple of people commenting about this application on like every single uh, post. Everything from like journaling to visual note taking. Uh, and it is either marketing gone right. Uh, and people actually do love the application so much that they really want me to take a look at it. Or uh, it is the other way around, just ugly marketing in general. Again, yet to be determined. But let's jump into this application. Um, This is my first review. I will do a deep dive on it later. But uh, it... At first it scares me a little bit because it is just black. I'm not sure if I am uh, really a big fan of starting uh, like this, uh, but uh, I think it is a clean, the application looks really clean. It is still in like really early stage. Uh, the pricing on this is $8.99, uh, which I think is okay. Okay, but it is a little steep for an early access application, but uh, that is just my personal opinion. It's still, uh, it is still yet to be determined whether or not that is actually worth it. I got it uh, on a little bit of a cheaper pricing and a 14 day free trial. Um, so uh, you have your settings here and here you can see your, uh, you can see your, uh, email, you can bulk import, markdown export, so there are a few things you can do here. You can change the appearance of this, you can change some of the functionality here, like click to create note, out, auto complete drop down. You can uh, read a little bit more about the application and check for updates. So that is just the settings. I can go ahead and I can type a test note here. Uh, like this and I can see what happens if I click this arrow um, so not it seems like I can write a little bit more let's do backslash so it seems like I can write inside of here so let's just do heading let's do test let me try with markdown actually so it works with markdown as well do backslash and see what we got here. So we have subheading, quote, bullet list, numbered list, and code block. So that is your options. Let's see if we can do test uh, note two. The point of this application is that AI uh, will actually connect things together, which is an idea I do really like, but it is yet to be determined if it works. Uh, think of this as something like napkin notes, even though I think napkin notes looks and feels a little bit better, but it is also further along in its development. But is there a manual way I can link these together? So like this, this should work. So you actually have to drag them into the middle of the board, uh, which feels a little weird but uh, not the worst thing. I'm used to like when I drag these that they are uh, on the bottom of or the top or left or right of the board. That is just a visual thing. And I can also actually just drag and create a new note like this. That is actually really cool. I can go into full screen mode of this note. Uh, can I do tagging here because there has to be some sort of information um, no tag, there should be an ability to tag, but I can't seem to find it. So, uh, the problem with, um, with applications like this, uh, especially when there are, uh, this new is that they may be a little hard to figure out how everything works. And that is why I'm doing these first impressions because, uh, 
because sometimes uh, people want to know whether or not this is an application you can just start and use uh, quite easily. Let me see what happens if I drag these. So that works. Uh, I can also remove this. Um, but uh, you also have a level system, which I'm not sure how works, but it is a bit of gamification to this. Uh, it is it has sync as well last sync was seven minutes ago so let's sync one more time let's actually go ahead and just drag these back and forth and the way uh i paid for this is that i uh, first had to pay for the application then i had to download it and then i uh, got a licensed key which i entered into the application but apart from this like just having um the ability to take notes and uh, and connect them together. I can't see what else it provides, like enable gathering. Let's try searching for something. Um, let's do test. So my guess is that uh, this will work better if you have real information inside of it. I tried to bulk upload my notes, but that wasn't as easy as I had hoped for. Um, I will, uh, as I said, play around with this application and do a deep dive of it. But as of right now, it feels a little hard to understand. So if I just try this out to see, it just feels a little hard to understand how the overall application is supposed to work uh, like I, I struggle to get it and I am a person who spends a lot of time inside of different note-taking applications so my guess is that for the mainstream user this might be a little hard uh, because I'm trying to figure out how tagging works inside of this but there isn't actually an easy way to do tagging it should be just having the ability to do hashtag and then just writing your tag, but that doesn't seem to work. And it seems like these are note cards that you can then uh, go into full screen on and you can see everything like this. Uh, I like the overall like visual element of this. Let's just check it out in dark mode as well. Uh, if we jump into appearance, cosmos, and let's try uh, doing extra large. Uh, so I like the appearance of this, or I did like it. It doesn't seem to be as good in. Uh, it doesn't seem to be as good in the dark mode. Uh, here we go. Now it is back to normal. Um, so. As you can see, still a few issues, uh, a little hard to understand the application, but I will just have to do a bit of research before I do the full review. Uh, one other thing inside of whiteboarding applications, when I hold shift and uh, I um, try to scroll, um, most of the times uh, inside of whiteboard applications, when you hold uh, shift, it will scroll scroll from left to right but you can't actually do that here you have to actually click on the whiteboard and drag things back and forth but I will need to figure out how the AI works I will need to play around with it uh, but as a first like impression it feels a little hard uh, to learn and to understand and maybe even a little scary to get into at first uh, but as I've said before, my uh, first impression videos can uh, change when I do the full review. Like with Scrintle in the first impression video, I wasn't too happy about the application. When I did my full review, I actually ended up paying for a month because I think uh, the application was much better than I first thought. The same might apply to this, uh, but I wanted to do a first impression just to give you an idea of how this application is as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video